What in the freaking world? Devontae Adams has been traded to the Las Vegas Raiders in exchange for two draft picks, one of them being a first-round draft pick in this year's draft. Oh, my freaking goodness. This is wild. This is wild. There's a lot. Okay. Aaron Rodgers just signed his contract. Derek Carr. Okay. Let me gather my thoughts because I literally just heard about this four minutes ago is when Adam Schefter tweeted this out. I had to fire up the camera and I had to get my thoughts on this because, oh my freaking goodness, if you're a Packers fan, dude. All right. Okay. Let's break this down from the perspective of both teams. Okay. Let's first talk about the Green Bay Packers and then we'll talk about the Las Vegas Raiders, which by the way, I mean, you got to look at that offense that they have in Vegas with uh, Josh Jacobs and Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro. Now you got Devontae Adams. Like, this is wild. Everybody on Twitter is going crazy about this. Derek Carr just retweeted it. That's uh, reunited with uh, Devontae Adams. Okay. Everybody's getting in on the action. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay, we'll talk about the Raiders in just a bit. Let's talk about the Packers. Okay, let's talk about the reaction with the Packers and what this means for them. If you are Aaron Rodgers, this blows, man. This freaking blows. He was like, since last offseason... Nah, you're not helping me. You're not getting me any weapons. I want to sit out. I don't know if I'm going to stay here. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go somewhere else. Hey, I like the Broncos. I like the Titans. There's a lot of other teams out there. Steelers also. But the Packers, Matt LaFleur, they're very adamant. They're like, nope. We like you. We will do whatever it takes. We will bend over backwards to get you a contract extension. And then Aaron Rodgers tweeted out himself saying, Sure, let's happen. Let's make it happen. Four-year contract extension. Over $130 million. Let's make it happen. So that happened. Aaron Rodgers stuck. No weapons. Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, that's it. MVS, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, everybody wanted him to be a thing. The next wide receiver two for the Green Bay Packers. I guess technically he was a wide receiver two. But it was like wide receiver two. Two, and then wide receiver one, Devontae Adams. Like, it, it was night and day. Alan Lazard is going to be a free agent. They could resign him. They could bring him back. Robert Tony is a free agent. Oh, my gosh. My heart goes out to you if you're a Packers fan. I get it. You get a first-round pick in 2022, and I don't know what the other pick is, but I, I from my assumption, it's, it's a high draft pick. I don't know what, whether it's a first-round pick from next year or not. I don't know. But if, if you're a Packers fan, I am sorry. I am sorry. This freaking sucks. It really does. Oh, man. Anyways, Devontae Adams has been traded to the Las Vegas Raiders. Green Bay, Green Bay Packers, tough spot. Going to have to rebuild on the draft. Moving on to the Raiders. And let's talk a little bit more optimistic side of things and talk about the offense that is going to be brewing inside of Vegas, inside of the mind of Josh McDaniels. Some people may call him an offensive guru. You know, people get that moniker all the time, and then it doesn't work out. Like Adam Gase, per se. Josh McDaniels, head coaching experience with the Denver Broncos, didn't work out. Now he comes into Las Vegas after, uh, you know, pulling in, what, what was it, a Randy Gregory uh, or a J.D. McKissick or whoever saying like, yeah, I agree to this deal. Nah, I'm pulling out. Pull out game strong. Josh McDaniels did that with the Indianapolis Colts. That led to Frank Reich, so I don't think the Colts are upset about that. But McDaniels comes now into Vegas, committed, signed. He's a head coach. He brings in Devontae Adams to reunite with his Fresno State quarterback from college. And Derek Carr, you know that Carr is more excited than anything about this happening. I mean, he gets a true number one wide receiver. And finally, we get to see if Derek Carr is the real deal. The trade talks that has been happening with Carr for Four years, I want to say, at this point. About how he is not a legit quarterback that can lead a team to a Super Bowl. Guess what? 2022 is going to be put up or shut up. Everybody's going to get their answer right now. Is Derek Carr that quarterback? Everybody can be talking about, you don't have the weapons. You don't have the weapons. Maybe you have Darren Waller. Besides that, who, who else did you have in your career? Amari Cooper? Didn't really work out with him in the Las Vegas Raiders. 
Now there's no excuse because we know what Devontae Adams is capable of. And we know how good of a talent he is. And Carr, you better step your game up. And I know he's going to step his game up in that offense with so many options to dial in with and throw the ball to. Waller, Adams, Renfro, Jacobs, guys, this is massive. Josh McDaniels has so many toys to play with. Now I'm excited about watching this Las Vegas Raiders offense that went to the postseason at 9-8, and eight, and they just keep on getting better and better and better. Devontae Adams, huge, huge. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here. I just wanted to make a video, just give you my initial reaction. Like I said, I started hitting record like five minutes after this news broke. I want to interact with you guys. I really do. Like, leave your comments and your thoughts down below. Like, what do you think? Like, what are you guys making of this? I want to hear what what you guys on YouTube are saying because uh, I really want to interact with you because I, I I love freaking off-season football, man. I really do. Like, this is huge. This is huge. So, please comment down below. Let me interact with you guys. I want to reply to your comments. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Where, where do the Raiders go from here on out? What are your predictions? What do you think it's going to lead to? Is Carr going to be much better? Is Devontae Adams going to be worse without Aaron Rodgers? Or, uh, talking on the Green Bay Packers side, where do the Green Bay Packers go from here? And how, how bad do you feel for Aaron Rodgers? I feel like there's a lot of people that don't feel bad for him. I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel bad for the guy, honestly, if, I, if I'm – Kind of, kind of giving my initial thoughts. But yeah, leave your comments down below. Would love to interact with you guys. Appreciate you guys watching.